Okay, so with the facial features in place, we're gonna move on to the horns, I believe. Another quick note is that if you're not liking, so you can change the material of your mesh, you can change the color of the mesh. To do so, if I hit spacebar, this color palette switches the color of my mesh. Typically, I'll stick with gray tones when I'm sculpting. So if you want a darker gray, instead of like a straight white, you can go a little darker. The same thing with your material. If I hit Alt A, I have the startup material right here. If I click it, I have an assortment of materials similar to, similar to the brushes, excuse me. To fix that, like you can change it. So I have this basic material, which is typically what I like to use to sculpt, but some people prefer, you know, basic material too, with a little bit more specular. You can change your materials, try which ones you like, you know, try different ones and sculpt in whichever fashion you'd like. I typically like to just stick with the basic material. It's just my go-to material. Um, but let's go ahead and continue with the horns. So the horns, I'm gonna go ahead and, I think it's time to Dynamesh these bad boys. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap Dynamesh. Um, so no, now I can start to focus on the horns and how it affects the heads. So I'm gonna smooth some of this stuff out. And again, I have my reference up of my horns on the second page here. And I'm just gonna start to tap with these guys. I think I like the shape of it. They might change, however, once we uh, add in the, the wooden block and the rest of the, the piece here. But for now, I'm gonna get my damn standard and just start to sculpt these, these bad boys. Just find some planes that I'm liking, you know, just accentuate those, how they fall with the head. And go from there. It doesn't have to be perfect again to begin with. Maybe back here, we can have this guy here and then move this in so it attaches a little bit closer to the head. I'm just finding, trying to find a silhouette that I like, shapes that I like, and go from there. And maybe one more hard edge here. And we should be good. So all I'm trying to do is just find the planes, right, of these horns with my damn standard and move brush and trying to accentuate some uh, some certain areas. So I think I'm liking that. Get my clay build up, build some of that form back, trim dynamic, right, to carve some of this out. It's a perfect brush for this. I think I'm liking that. Again, there's gonna be a wooden block back here, so we might need a like maneuver and move these horns around depending on how it affects the block. Um, but we'll see, we'll, we'll play with that when we add that in. It probably would have been a wiser decision to block in those base meshes too with when we did the initial block and creation. But, you know, we, we go as we, we're learning as we, as we work on each project and going from there. So what I'm gonna do is just focus on these horns for now. Smooth some of this out, trim dynamic, right? Smooth, trim dynamic, smooth. Maybe just make it a little bit of a harsher peak here. Got our trim dynamic going here. Dynamic, trim dynamic, and trim dynamic. Smooth. And I'm kind of liking this shape. However, I start to mess with some of the surface of this. So I'm gonna get my clay build up. Let me carve some of this stuff out. Clay build up, carve some of this stuff out. And then clay build up and carve some of it back in. Again, a lot of it's just carving out, carving back up, carving out, carving back up. And so on and so forth. I'm gonna Go ahead and harshen up the divisions here. Harshen up my focal shift on my clay buildup to get a little bit of harsher strokes because, you know, I want to have some of this nice detail come through um, if I can naturally with the brush strokes that I'm doing. Um, and having a harder focal shift, especially for something as rugged as horns, is a good way to do it. Same thing here, carve some of this stuff out here. And then carve it back up, clip build up, clip build up. Smooth it out. All right, we're getting some decent horns. So 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to time lapse the horns and we'll get back to it. Okay, so with the horns blocked in, again, it was all the same thing. All I did was clay build up, right? A little bit of trim dynamic, some damn standard. I started to implement it a little bit more into the head. Um, nothing too crazy. Again, anytime I move something, it affects something else. And so I'm constantly, you know, moving from the horns to the head, to the ears, to the neck. It's just part of the process. And so with our, with everything blocked in, you know, not, everything's kind of looking final, not necessarily like complete, but if I was to zoom out, right, it looks like a pretty solid fleshed out character. This is where I like to get the pieces before I start to move on to, you know, the next step of the production, which is, you know, getting them ready for the final sculpts. You know, this is where you pass it to the art director. This is where you um, start to make the final decisions of where this character's headed. And so what we're gonna do now is, I think we're gonna move on to blocking out the will in the background. Um, we might do that in ZBrush, we might do that in Maya, but let's go on to the next video.